hello everyone welcome back to this video series on clinical SSTTM programming in this video we will see an example on how to convert the results in original units to standard units so we will use laboratory data as an example so let's jump to the background so when reporting the results of a test labs generally report the results in units based on their institutional or local guidelines so in clinical trials where multiple sites and regions are involved we end up having the same test results in different units for different subjects and time points so it becomes a challenge when we try to summarize for example if we want to calculate the average result in a group of subjects so if we try to summarize the uh, calculate the average when the results reported are in different units we get the wrong results so what we need to do is we need to convert the results into a standard unit so that the reported results are same across all subjects so for this conversion we need to know the original unit in which the unit in which the lab is reporting and a agreed upon standard unit on how, what unit we want to represent the uh, particular test value and the conversion factor for converting the result reported in original units to standard unit for established organizations these conversion factors are created and timely updated and maintained in a central location for all tests that organization may need and if no such standard exists so what does the study team do is which means the programmers the statisticians they consult with the clinicians involved in the study and agree upon the standard units and establish the conversion factors at the trial level programmers will then use the conversion factors to convert the result variables into standard units and they create say for example if we are working on lb domain we create lb stresn and lb stresc so with that introduction let us now move to the specification so here the, for the specification only one variable is listed which is standard result character format so if we see this one the derivation logic it says convert lb ores to lb stresc using the conversion factors provided in a data set called conversion we'll see the structure of that conversion data set and also our input data set and there is an additional instructions which says on the records where lb ores contains the symbols like less than greater than less than or is equal to greater than or is equal to say for example if someone has reported the result as less than one so we are they are talking about that scenario here so convert the numeric component to standard units and concatenate the symbols again so for example for that the value of one in original unit is some number like 17.3 in standard units so what we need to do in that case is less than one has to be converted as or reported as less than 17.3 so we'll now see the form output and try to manually identify the result for few of the cases so before that let us take a look at the input data set so here we have a input data set for one subject we have two different tests one is bilirubin and the second one is calcium in which the collected unit is reported in lborresu and the result is present in orres variable lborres variable and we have the conversion data set provided so in which there is a record for each test and each original unit because the conversion factor varies from the original unit so we need to have an entry for each of the original unit seen in input data so we have three entries for bilirubin and three entries for calcium and the associated conversion factor that has to be multiplied to the lb ores value is provided here along with that we also have the lb stresu which is agreed upon at the study level for bilirubin it seems to be micromole per liter and for uh, calcium it is millimole per liter so we have the original unit standard result uh, unit and then the conversion multiplier so now let us try to manually identify for two cases so for let's say for this subject 
1001 for bilirubin the reported result is in mg per deciliter and the value is 1.3 so let we what we need to do is we need to use this conversion factor status set and fetch the standard result unit for that test the standard result unit for bilirubin is here based on that conversion data set is micromole per liter so let us populate it in all the records where it is micro bilirubin so i am populating the lbstresu and then so here we are trying to identify or populate the lbstresu and lbstresn for this row so here the original unit is mg per deciliter so the in order to convert mg per deciliter to micromole per liter we would have a conversion factor so mg per deciliter to micromole per liter the conversion factor is 17.1037 so we need to populate it on that so so we have the conversion factor we have the original unit and we also have the standard unit so what will be the standard result now so 1.3 multiplied by 20 17.1037 let us take a look at that so i have done that here so it seems to be 22.23481 so this would become our lb standard result and also the standard result character so now let us see this example of less than 1 so here again the conversion uh, the original unit is mg per deciliter so the conversion factor for mg per deciliter to umol per liter is 17.1037 let us try to populate it here again so but here we had this additional requirement when the result contains less than greater than or less than or is equal to or greater than or is equal to we were asked to multiply the numeric component of lburres with the conversion factor and then concatenate the specific symbol that was present so here in this case less than so what would this become is so less 1 multiplied by 17.301037 so we will first get that and then as the symbol less than is still here so we need to populate that less than 17.1037 so less than 1 is now translated to less than 17.1037 because 1 multiplied by 17.301037 is the same value so this is how we can convert so we will not be able to populate lbstresn here because it is not an absolute number it could be any number before below 17.307 so only character result can be presented the numeric result cannot be presented so when we have this additional special symbols present in the reported unit uh, reported result so now let us we now have manually identified and converted the results for both cases when there is a special symbol when there is no special symbol and when the collected unit is different from the standard unit let us now move to the programming aspect of it so here we have our on the left hand side i have the program on the right hand side i have the data sets that are getting generated by this code so here i am creating a data set called lb01 by sorting the input lblc data set at lb test cd and lb orr esu so why i am sorting it by test cd and lb orr esu is because in the conversion factor we have the results uh, the records present in the form of lb test cd and lb orr esu so we need to merge our lab data to our conversion data set based on test cd and original unit so to get the conversion factor so i am sorting lb uh, lc and creating lb01 by sorting based on lb test cd and lb orr esu similarly i am creating a data set called conv01 i did not keep that here but it will be the same as conversion but the rows are sorted based on the values of test cd and orr esu so and then i am merging lb01 to my conversion data set and creating a data set named lb02 so that i will get the associated standard result unit and also the conversion factor for the 
that test into my lab data. So let us now take a look at the LB02. Now for bilirubin, now I have got the standard result uh, unit that has to be the uh, standard unit and then the conversion factor that has to be applied for converting say for example if we look on this row for mg per liter to u mole per liter the conversion factor is 1.7104 so we got the conversion factors for each original unit into the lab data set the next thing that we need to do is here in the program if we see we are creating a temporary variable to store the numeric component and another temporary variable to store the special signs like less than, less than or is equal to, greater than, greater than or is equal to. So how are we doing that? So we are checking if the first two characters in the original result unit, original result is less than or is equal to or greater than or is equal to. If that is the case, so we are extracting the result from third position because the first two characters are less than or is equal to or greater than or is equal to the numeric component begins at the position of third position so we are extracting the numeric component into temp resn and, and also converting it into numeric format here so extracting and then converting it into numeric format using input function and then we are also storing that less than or is equal to or greater than or is equal to sign by extracting the first two characters from the result. And similarly, so else if, so the value could be less than or is equal to or greater than or is equal to or just less than or just greater than. So in that case, so we are extracting if it is less than or greater than only. So what the numeric component begins from the second position. So we are extracting the numeric component from the second position and then converting it into numeric format and storing in temp present. Similarly, the temp sign is being extracted as the first character. Here is our special character. And then in all the other cases, we are converting the LB or RES value to numeric format. So let us now take a look at LB03 and then see how these two variables look like. So here we have temp sign variable and temp press sign variable. So what we did was if we take a look at the third observation. So when the value is less than one, so we wanted that less than sign in a separate variable. So we created that here. And also in the case where it is greater than or is equal to. So we extracted that sign on the temp press n variable. What we have done is we have extracted the numeric component. So here it is 10, 1.3 and but of particular importance is when it is less than one so it has to be one so here the values are appearing with decimals because of some formatting issues but the internal values are still the numeric components which are present here so here if we take a look at observation 7 when the value is greater than or is equal to 15 the tempress n value is 15 so we extracted the numeric component and we also created a variable to store that sign now we have the numeric component we have the conversion multiplier so all we need to do is convert or multiply this number which is present in convmult multi variable to the tempress n variable so that the resulting values will become our standard units so we are doing that in the next step wherein we are creating lb04 so we are checking if both temporary result uh, in numeric format and the conversion factor is available and then creating a variable called temp STRESN, which is called temporary standard result in numeric format. So we'll get that result. So let us take a look at LB04 and then see the temp resin value first. So here, what we have done here is, so we have multiplied 1.7104 to temp, res, temp est, uh, 10. And then the resulting value is stored in temp STRESN. So 1.7 multiplied by 10, would become 17 so it has become that value here similarly on all the other rows and then the next thing that we needed was to create our lbstresc and stresn so when the temp sign is missing which means the result did not have any special characters of less than greater than signs so when on all the rows where temp sign is missing which means the only numeric component was present on all such rows what we are doing is we are directly assigning the temp STRESN to LBSTRESN. So this 17.104 is assigned to 
17 point LBST RESN and then we are converting it to character again so which is 17.104 on the instances where temp sign is not is equal to missing what we are doing is we are concatenating the temp sign to the character version of temp STRESN so we are converting temp STRESN to temp STR uh, uh, to character and then bringing back the temp sign into that value so if we now take a look at the LBSTREC values on the cases where temp sign is less than or greater than or is equal to if we see here so less than and the temp STRESN was 17.1037 so that 17 point to the uh, numeric component 17.1037 we have added back that less than sign similarly so the temp STRESN here is 3.7425 so to that we again brought back the greater than or is equal to sign so this is how we can convert our original result units to standard result units and also handle the cases wherein there are some special characters like less than greater than less than or is equal to or greater than or is equal to in our uh, original units so hope this is helpful thank you for watching and keep learning